Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to V Rising. It is a top-down, top-down, uh, hack and slash action RPG survival sandbox game made by the Battle Right developers. It looks slick, it plays well, and it's multiplayer up to like 60 people if you want to go full like Rust, or if you want to just go full PvE, you can have clans of up to like a lot. I know it's a lot. I don't know how much you really need, but you can go up that high. Anyway, we're just going to dive right in. All right, we're in, and I am a uh, purple people eater with one hell of a long neck. Holy shit. All right, so WASD movement, that's pretty big. Uh, so quick thing about this game, oops, hop down. Uh, quick thing about this game is that it is, uh, it's made by the Battle Right devs. I never actually really played Battle Right. I kind of wish I had. I knew, I knew it was like big back in, you know, kind of, what, 2014? Something like that. It was like the early days of my channel, but I'm just not, I'm not big on competitive anythings. And so I was kind of hoping they'd come up with some kind of like multiplayer version. Or not multiplayer, PvE version. And uh, well, it took a couple of years, but here we are. So a couple of things. I've really messed with the settings uh, to turn down the grind. That's probably going to change quite a lot about this, but at the same time, that means I'm going to be able to get into the cool bits quick. Uh, let's see. And seeing as these seem to drop resources, I might as well grab them. We've already unlocked how to... Oh. Inventory crafting, crafting, bone sword. Equipment, bone sword. Equip. Okay, so I just have it equipped now. Nice. So, if you're wondering what kind of game this is, it's equal parts kind of Diablo, but also like survival sandbox. I don't think you have to worry about food as much, but you like, you actually will build like a castle and have places to go and, and explore. And it's more like open world sand, sandboxy than I think most RPGs would normally be. Which for me is actually really exciting. I was thinking about this recently. Oh, can I just... Whale on this tree? Hell yeah, I can just whale on this tree. Rude. I don't know how obsessive I need to be about gathering resources. But I do really like the idea of, like, going into... Oh, container. Oh, there's... I killed a rat. Well, I've got that. Is there a cost to this? Cooldown? No. Blood right. Block melee and projectile attacks for 1.5 seconds. Blocking attack heals you for 30% of your spell power and triggers a wave of energy. Okay, and it's on the 7 second cooldown. It does feel like this might be a little bit better on a controller, but I'm going to play keyboard and mouse for today. Rude. Okay, and it looks like I just kind of heal automatically anyway. Give me all of them bones. I got things to do with them bones. Okay, wielding the sword, we now have bone ring. Uh, crafted bone ring also gets me something else. Oh. I don't think I have anything fancy I can do here. Oh, I see. I can just pick up the rats. Alright, craft bone guard vestiment, so looks like I need animal hide. Whoops. Too many of those. Rats can be consumed. Oh, they're a healing item. <laughs> they're a healing item. Of course they are. Oh. I just was next to potentially the exit. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to be looking for animals or something. But no, I think I just am supposed to go through here. Enter Farbane Woods. Okay, east or west matters not, but I think I want to be over here. Let's go east. That was really graceful. All right, we got a way gate and we got a map. Map means I can actually take a look at stuff. Let's see, hold to teleport, but where would I teleport to? Yeah, cannot teleport while carrying resources. Oh, interesting. Well, oh, there's the animal hide that I need. Oh, 
Wait. There. Oh, you can just feed off of the creature. Well, that's useful. Blood cha type changed. Oh, interesting. Blood pool creature. Huh. Well, crafting wise, we can pop both of these on. And now we've unlocked bone axes. And then cut down trees. Oh, interesting. Now, yeah. So it wants me to cut these down. Maybe I didn't need to go to this extent. Maybe I would have been totally fine uh, with considerably less resource gain. But this way I don't have to think about anything. Alright, I'm just going to grab a bunch of these. Oh, Blueprint Castle Heart. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Alright, Mace seems to be Big Hammer. Cool. So smash rocks to pieces. Do these? Yeah, here we go. I like the tutorialization for this. You could totally ignore it, though you need to do it if you want to unlock some things. But it's not like particularly handholdy or aggressive. I, I don't know. I have a lot of gripes about handholdy and aggressive uh, tutorialization in games that often feels just kind of exhausting. And I'm just going to eat animals for a while. I will just be... I will be the beast lord vampire man. There we go. Well, a lot of animal hide. And we found the rock we were kind of looking for. Sort of. There's also all sorts of things on the UI that I haven't even taken a look at yet. But, for now, Castle Heart and Borders. So, beat a, beat a build. So, Castle Heart, heart of your domain, as long as it contains blood essence, it'll power your castle and keep it from decaying. You can expand your territory with borders and floors originating from the heart. Hearts destroyed, your entire castle crumbles. I know there's PvP on this. Let's find a good spot. Like a nice looking field. Here seems kind of viable, or up here, or maybe somewhere a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely tell that they have areas that are almost kind of made for castles. So up here it has some potential. But like here, here seems really good. So let's head that direction. We're going to go back to the dual axes for the time being. I don't, I don't think I can actually build one of these here. Yeah. Blocked by road and environment. This is red blood rose. Let's see. I see more beasts. I see some things. I Okay, so I will say I do know that this game has some bugs. Ooh. Stone golem. I'm going to just try and hit it. Oh, that does no damage. Yeah, let's leave leave that well enough alone. I'll fight him later. Luckily, I have enough resources. Resources? I'm fast enough that I can just get past him. And I got enough resources that I don't need to, like, stop for anything. Uh, most of that is entirely just because I am, I am Cheese Lord that did not want to farm. So I just said, yeah, send times the amount of resources. I think I also have like crafting costs. Look, I don't know. I don't play a lot of survival sandbox games, but I'd rather kind of zip through them than have to hit uh, punch trees for a while. I'll do that in some games. Um, uh, how would I describe it? I like when uh, survival sandbox games are incremental where you can tell somebody else to like go farm resources for you. And maybe that's the case in this one too. I'm actually getting harmed here. And I have been stunned. Yeah. 
Okay, so do not feed. Okay, there we go. Okay, do not feed in the middle of combat. You will get clobbered. Okay. So I have to be wary. Because sunlight, I think, hurts me. Use blood mend to exchange, exchange blood for health. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Take all these resources. Break these. Oh, you can only heal up to 25% of your health while in combat. With skill usage. Okay. I uh, Am I in direct sunlight? I don't know. I guess so. Oh, I'm carrying silver. That's what's getting me. Okay. Armored skeletons, they say. It's fine. I'm in a fine spot. I was hoping the hammer would be a little bit punchier. But alas, it is not. Ow. Okay. It seems like this is the right spot, though. Blocked by environment. Okay, so there's that there, but I guess... I guess I can put it down on this... this side. I'm just gonna claim this zone. Okay, Castle Heart status in decay. Castle Heart, Castle is decaying. Insert blood essences. Okay, and it is now consuming. Hopefully I'll get some more, but I can hide, hide in the shade for the moment. Okay, so we can do Palisades, Wooden Coppin, Wooden Stash. I'm just gonna have to hide in the shadows though. You know what? I should probably actually uh, rotate right. I'm going to put my coffin here. So it's actually in the shade. And let's hold until it's nighttime. Instead of sticking around when it's stupid daylight. Actually, I like this. I like the system. It makes sense. I've played too many vampire games where sunlight is not actually that big of a deal. Or it's just kind of not brought up. You almost kind of ignore it. Unfortunately, I was expecting sleep to let me pass the time, but looks like no dice. Oh, that was cool. Whoops. Okay, what else do we have? Palisades. Well, we got some of this stuff. Oh, I can break the walls here. I was wondering about that. You know, how do I fix this? The real answer is just... I have to destroy them. So I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna slowly replace this stuff. We're gonna need to add some shade, though. I'm just going to be over here. This is going to hurt. <laughs> At least I've crafted some amount of shade for myself. There we go. Okay, back to building. Build wall. I'm in the way now. <laughs> Maybe I'm fine here. We'll see. Uh, let's see. So what else can I build? Small stash.
Put it there. Not that it matters too much. Mist Brazier. Oh. Blocks out the sun in a small area. Toggle inactive. Bad sun. Okay. So what is it? Consumed bone. Bones. Okay. I think we're good now. I don't know how to get half of this back. Split stack. There we go. Okay, so now we've got some mist, so now I don't have to worry about it. Let's start Let's start making an actual Well, I'd say I'd say it's a a, a castle, but it's really going to be nothing more than just kind of a a garbage shack for this sad vampire to live in. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Dang, I was hoping I'd actually have to contend with sunlight a little bit more. Speaking of, I can't tell. Oh, I see. We're going to turn that off. The sun's about to go down. Moon is rising. Interestingly enough, it seems like nighttime lasts like way longer than daytime. I could be wrong about that. From 10 till 5. Yeah, not entirely sure. Unfortunately, this is going to take like a while. Uh, so I guess let's skip ahead. All right, I've cleaned out the junk. Let's palisade. I will live in a three by three cube for actually an egregious amount of time. I wonder if I can, if this automatically gets a wall. Oh. Is this actually a full wall? Oh, it is. Okay, good, good, good. Production. Vamp vampire lockbox. Can't do that. anything with that. All right. Let's level up. Basic crafting and refinement. So what do we need? Construct and interact with sawmill, workbench. Increase your gear level by making stronger equipment. And that'll get me the blood altar. Well, I guess I'm just going to kind of live in this zone for the time being. Do we have production? Refinement. Ah! Furnace sawmill, vermin, vermin nest. Luring vermin into your castle. Well, let's start with the sawmill. Oh, good. It is it is wor working off of a grid system. It doesn't quite fit. Fine. I'll care more, more about these things later. Sawmill, what do you have for me? Alright. Castle powered heart. Confined castle room has matching floor. Interesting. Uh, so we need a workshop floor. So there's little synergy bonuses. Well, considering I've got silly months of all of this, I'm just going to let that go. Yeah, I also have turned up refinement speed, so it's uh, pretty dang quick. Okay, and furnace. Let's me do copper ore. Well, I have some. It looks like the rest of this I'm going to have to wait for. Honestly, considering everything, why don't we get a second one of these? Because I have a lot of wood to process, and I might as well process, like, a lot of it. I guess it's kind of redundant, but whatever. At some point, I'll move things around. Uh, let's see. Just leave that there. Okay. Elsa wants me to make a simple workbench. Let's see. Move, transfer. Okay. Bills. Blood press. Blood essence from biomaterial. I'm just going to slap a bunch of these things down and around. This whole place will need to get ripped apart and remade fairly soon. But for now, I don't know. Okay, so what can I do? Oh, I can turn rats into blood essence. Tainted hearts. Hearts, hearts, some other stuff. I'll figure that out later. Simple workbench. What can I do here? Reinforced equipment. Night stalker. Requires leather. I don't know how to do that. Well, in that case... Let's just grab every single thing here. Looks like we've already over overwritten most of our equipment. Actually, no, it looks like it consumed my previous thing. That makes sense. 
Well, I'm stronger now. Okay. Construct and interact with Blood Altar. I think we might want to consider Dominance. Blood Altar. Okay, I'm going to need some stuff for that. Oh. But I need more Blood Essence for it. Go to the Castle Heart. I should have... I should have a decent chunk. Let's leave it with that. I'll have to go... Oh. I got it. Okay. So I'm going to kind of extend. And we're going to do just three by three rooms here if I can. And stuff's in my way. Well, I should be able to mine through things considerably faster now, I hope. Looks like it. Kind of. I wonder if I could have actually changed resource HP. Because that actually, that could have gone a long way. I do hope I can replant some trees at some point, but maybe it doesn't matter that much. You know, I'm a big fan of nice foresty vampires. You know, deep in the woods, twisted trees, all that sweet jazz. Okay, can I break this? Yeah. It's got the interesting crystals as part of it, though. Which is a big question mark. Crude mist stone, gem dust, and emerald. Okay, so there are cool, cool goodies. And yes, I'm carrying silver. I'm going to get over here. I don't know what silver coins are going to be useful for, but I might as well put them in, in there for the time being. I'm pretty sure we also had copper here, which I'm curious about. Yeah, looks like it can do it. Uncover knowledge and new powers by drinking the blood of a V-blood carrier. What? Well, that's a decent chunk of copper. I'm going to have to go out on, on some adventures, but at least I can do it with some better tools. Hopefully I can mine some things. Okay. Can I do another palisade entrance? Nah. All this needs to be broken. I'm going to just be breaking a lot of things here today, apparently. Okay, so it wanted a blood altar. I figured... Uh, I should have made this room maybe a bit bigger. I figure I'm going to have two rat lures in the same room as my blood altar. Okay. Oh. Okay, so blood altar is different from what I was expecting. Blood altar tells me where all of the world bosses are. So we can do Alpha Wolf, Errol the Stonebreaker, Rufus the Foreman, and Keeley the Frost Archer. So, Alpha Wolf, a ferocious apex pet predator of its kind, many times larger, stronger, and more hostile than its smaller king, kin. The Alpha Wolf, true to its name, is regarded by others of its kind with absolute authority. They never truly hunt alone. Okay, I'm going to track that. And then I'm going to stop tracking that. We'll do that in a bit. Unfortunately, it's about to hit daytime, and I don't want to deal with it. So, exterior. Border, wooden stairs, lighting. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to put these here for some reason. We need, ah, we need planks. Well, I guess I'm going to spend an amount of my, my day just processing resources and getting them set up. Hopefully we can access some more stuff too. Uh, let's see, we got a bunch of copper, so that's a good sign. Transfer items from your inventory of the same type. Oh, compulsively count. So it's effectively quick, quick stack. I like that. I burn in my own base. How do I put... Oh. I, I guess I actually have to have mist braziers. <laughs> Just doing... Just to inhabit and, ex and exist in this area. I... Sure. Fair enough. Let's see, how's the castle heart doing? It's fine. Blood press has given me a lot more. Okay, that's good. 
And I believe vermin nests. Oh. So I gotta throw in like plant fiber and bone to catch rats. We can also get giant rats. Unit that yields animal hides, chance for low grade seeds. Putrid rat. Interesting. Rats cannot be teleported. I thought I turned it on so that you could teleport with rats. Well, either way, looks like we can just alchemize rats in here awkwardly. Maybe I should stop this. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. It's useful. And I'll keep it in mind, but it's also a lot of extra work. Okay, compulsively count. Now let's just move over quite a lot of this stuff. It cannot be teleported. It's good to know. Okay, uh, production, storage. Hopefully it lets me pull from inventories. Actually, I might want to move this chest. Let's take all, move here, put away the silver key. Or key coin. There we go. And put this closer to the wall. There we go, that's much nicer. You know what? I don't need to. I don't need to be as cowardly as I think I am. There's plenty of shadows that I can go through. And what am I, level 23? Yeah, that should be fine. I might want to keep an eye out for some copper stuff, but as long as I'm in, in the shade, foes aren't a problem for me. So for example, There we go. Okay, what are these? Trappers. Oh, interesting. They seem to be having a throwdown out here. Well, never mind, that's problem solved. Okay, and the sun's going down pretty quick. It looks like there was a couple of skeletons in the area to mess them up too. Makes my life easy. Grab these. Stay away from all of this. Can I break any of it? No. So maybe for a camp like this, stuff doesn't respawn in the same way. There we go. I wonder if I can get, like, better sun resistance at some point. Probably. Okay, it's telling me to continue go this, going this direction. Looks like I also heal very, very slowly on my own, which is nice. Do we see any dudes here? Surprisingly not. I don't know, you see the setup is though though there's going to be foes. We got a woodcutter. I wonder if I can get a bow. I should probably feed off of some folks. Especially injured ones. Okay. Oh, there's Rufus the Foreman. Now, is her dog gonna follow me? Her dog is gonna follow me. Grab the plant fiber. Grab that. And I'm just going to feed. Doesn't give me any HP. Oh. Ow. Okay. That's rude. But we do have to worry about HP a lot. There we go. You hit that, it's fine. And he's a... Oh wait, he's a warrior. Oh, I can just abort and have it be a, a kill. Okay. 
Oh, uh, what was the button for blood mend? There we go. I might as well actually heal here. Because we've got a uh we've got a foreman here. I don't want to grab, but yeah. It's really helpful to know that uh I can abort and it becomes kind of an insta-kill. I might as well just keep doing this. So blood pool leader has got it. And at some point I should take a look at what classes are actually available for me and pick and choose the ones I care about. Anyway, sup Rufus? You're not the man that I thought I would be fighting. I thought I'd be fighting a doggo. But I can't complain. Oh. I actually have like an ability. That's useful to know. Unfortunate, missed the con com uh, counter. I'm gonna call you target practice. There we go. Right, he's easy enough. Oh, he got he got punchy. Looks like he ran out. So, guess I should have. Now is he still in aggro mode? No. There we go. That's some damage. Trying to keep my HP relatively. That's a worker. No thank you. I'm curious about... Blood pool like that. But that's okay. There we go. Kind of. Got it. Yeah, the counter actually seems to work really well against this guy. And hold to extract blood. Well, works for me. Now we just kind of wait. Unsullied heart. Swap abilities and powers. Let's take a look. Okay, so I now have Blood Rage. Shield yourself and nearby allies for 100%, 110% of your spell power. Increase attack speed for 4.5% per second. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Blood Bolt. I feel like more of a melee guy, at least for the time being. Maybe later I might try other things. Okay, was that Thread? That might have been Thread. And we still have some foes here. Oh, well I can grab that. So we now have the research desk. Okay, y'all hurt. Oh, this one is a rogue. Okay, this is gonna hurt a bit. But I do want it. There we go. And then I can just kill him. I don't actually know if I want the rogue necessarily. Uh, so what I might want to do is actually start selecting various things. Oh, let's just blood mend. Well, I, I think I want to just start feeding off of things and actually reading. I was hoping rogue would actually give me more of a, um, like a poison or something. Reduce cooldown on travel skill though. Might be useful. There's... I mean, there's the chance to crit, there's the chance to expose. Eh. I don't know. They seem okay. They just don't seem like I need them. Okay, let me check the map. Is there a way to tell? I'm here. Important loot, planks, coarse thread, paper. 
I guess I could be running around hitting stuff if I wanted to. Enchanted brew. Okay. That's a little bit more convincing. I wonder if the enemies here respawn and that's part of it. Oh, there's also like two more treasure chests that I just straight up have not opened. With goodies I have not seen before. I'll probably come back. Oh, wait, no, copper. No, sulfur. I don't know if sulfur is really useful for me, but I'm going to grab it since we're here. And so, since I get so many resources, wait, can I use my... Nah, I mean, it works. It's just not big. Let's try warrior blood. It's going to hurt a bit, but that's fine. There we go. Grab the paper. Come on. Wait, this... Oh, no, this guy's a Bruce. Eh. What's Brute? Primary attack, Leech Life. Oh, Brute. Okay, dig Brute. Life Leech is good. Okay, found the wolf. Timing doesn't look so great. But worst comes to worst, I just fight it in the shade. Okay, might as well use Blood Rage. Shield self, always. Do that for a little extra healing. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to keep raging and keep wailing. Because I do need to kill this thing before that sun rises and we are looking at the dawn. And it's dead. Wow, that was quick. I am going to have some trouble getting back, though. That is my one worry. But you know what? We'll figure it out when we get there. Oh. We also just conveniently broke a lot of stones around here. Okay, and I have another vampire power. I'm going to grab the copper before the sun rises, and then I'm going to have to figure out how to scoot home. Please don't cook me. I'm not ready to be flambe. Perfect. All right. We're good. So what wolf power do we have now? Wolf form. Oh. Oh, please tell me I'm sun... Sunproof? I'm not. Tristan the Vampire Hunter. Does have V-Blood. Will kill me. Uh, okay. Oh. I'm gonna hang out in the... In the shade. Fail on these guys. Just kind of smash him. Copper or inventory is full. Inventory is full. Don't worry about it. Okay, please just stand right there. Perfect. Everything is good. All right, and back to wolf form. So we're not immune to sunlight when we're in wolf form, but we are a lot faster, which is kind of exactly what I need. Yeah, so you can see it. it's starting to pop in a little bit squirrel. Oh... Cannot kill Squirrel. Worth a shot. It starts to pop in while I'm between, but for the most part, not that big of a deal. I was really hoping there'd be a travel stone around here. Hmm. Because this is my wooden coffin. Oh, in retrospect, I guess it doesn't matter too much, though. <sighs> Wait, here's the question. If I do 
Exterior, lighting, production. Compliments. Oops. Fundamentals. I've done a mist brazier. Ah, blocked by road. Dang. Okay, I give up. I'll deal with that later. I love the fact that I can go wolf form as a as a travel maneuver. That's super nice that I just got access to that so soon after starting. I I don't know. I I think there's a lot of really cool ideas to this. Where normally I get pretty disinterested in survival sandbox games, this kind of follows follows the Valheim model with enough of its own like neat ideas to keep me interested. Namely, uh, you know, a whole host of different bosses as opposed to just only a handful. Uh, let's see. Oh, reinforced Bone Mace. Probably not that important. I know I could throw it into a grinder. But it's hard for me to care. There we go. Uh, but yeah, different spells and abilities to pick up as well to play around with. Obviously, varying types of gear. There's a bear. Okay. Gonna have to bear blast in the shade. Animal hides. Who is he killing? Oh, morning lilies. I know we need those for something. I'm just gonna toss my remaining tools. Because as far as I'm concerned, they're not that helpful. I'm sticking with the hammer for the time being. Another bear. I like the look of the bears, by the way. Like, they look pretty neat. It's a nice kind of... painted, cell shady... I'd almost call it like the blizzard visual style. I know that's reductive and kind of unfortunate because blizzard did not start this style. They just kind of popularized it. Hmm. Area discovered bandit camp. It's true. Oh. That one's level 30. Level 30 or not, I can fight her. Also a brute. Perfect. We want more of that. Also fire. Okay. There's an archer back there. Smack him. Oops. Keep smacking him. Another brute. I'm just going to take it. It's going to hurt. Okay. Blood Rage. Go with that as an insta-gib. And then everything is stinky around here. But that's fine. I'm not dead yet. And that's that's what counts. Please don't tell me you're also level 30. You are. Ow. Okay. Don't have a whole lot of HP. Get rid of that. Get a bit more. Waterfill canteen. There we go. Wait. And she's also a brute. There's there is the wolf. But the wolf isn't too much of an issue. Okay. 
Let's blood mend. Yeah, this combat system is solid. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we have? Blood, unholy, illusion, chaos. Ooh. Regular vampire powers and emotes. Neat. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal for the time being. And really, really wish I had a teleport point that I could rely on. Okay. Where am I? There's got to be one around here somewhere. And it feels weird just going further and further away, but like, I, I don't know, there's got to be something. Or I'm just going to end up in the wrong part of town. Nope. And like, I could fight those guys, but maybe not. What does this look like? Well, whoever was here, bandit armory. Wool thread and scrolls. Uh, let's see, do we have like some stone that I could get rid of? Like a stupid amount of hide. Okay. Ooh, wool thread, emerald necklace. I have some leather. I might be able to process that, though. I, oh, I see. I have to study it, though. Uh, you know what? I have a decent amount. We just, we have to head back. I kept hoping I'd find a teleporter, but at this point, it's it's home time. Fight to the death. Hold up. I said I was going to go home. But then we've got Lydia the Chaos Archer. And I don't know about you, but if an opportunity presents itself to me to get a V-Blood, I'm doing it. Yeah, she's disappeared. There we go. Doesn't matter, works out. Ah. Oh, I can see her. Useful to note. There we go. Stay. Oh, I have been burnt. Oh, that's okay. Works for me. I got brute skills. Doesn't matter too much. Okay, so she's over here. You can see the blur. Can I do another? Yes. Give me that business. Look, if it's convenient, I'll take out a world boss. Why the heck not? We also took out like a bunch of trees. Unfortunately, inventory is mad full. Is there anything else I could get rid of? Maybe? I don't think I need that. I'll take the wood. Because I know I'm always going to need it. I like how destructible the world is. I don't know. It, I, I'm going to be singing this one's praises for sure. It's just kind of equal parts odd duck and culmination of a lot of... Uh, a lot of survival sandbox... Uh, and sandbox RPG ideas, you know, put them all together and you get this game. And I gotta say, like, I have been hoping for something like this. Diablo-style games where the combat system is not just click on enemy and use move whenever. You know, add a little bit of that action Souls-like feel to it. That goes a very long way to making a game feel better, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned. Um, because, uh, like... I, playing the Diablo games just in general with a controller feels better to me. 
I know that might be a hot take for some people, but like controller WASD actually is just a better control scheme. Hey, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but even beyond that, you know, giving a survival sandbox game more goals, you're not just, uh, you know, wandering around, maybe clearing some camps or something like that. Like, I could fight these guys, but I think I'm just... I'm just gonna go go boogie back home. We're so close, anyway. It's just on the other side of this bluff. Actually, can I, can I go through the water? Oh, I cannot. But if I go up through here, then we get back. Oh. We also have Lumberjack's Axe. It does have extra damage of wood, though. Which, like, is kind of a plus. You really have to feed on more people. Oh, well. Yeah, you can jump down, which... Might be sometimes worthwhile. Most of the time, probably not that important. Uh, let's see. Brute, 9%. And Poacher, Rogue. Okay, you... Well, that's one way to do it. There we go. They give me that 9%. I'm gonna be 100% brute here. Also, we could use some more blood. Oh, does it only put me up to 9%? That's interesting. I don't know, I'll have to figure out how this whole Vampire talent talent system pulled based off of the the blood that I receive, I absorb. Because yeah, I might just have to keep an eye out for somebody that's like fifty percent brute, and consume off of them. Well, one way or another, very successful heist. Obviously, I have too many too many resources, and that's mostly my fault. But at the same time, it means we're going to be able to do a fair bit of progress here. Uh, so for starters, count. Count. Cool. And I'm going to actually get rid of at least one of these. Probably both. They're nice, but I don't care that much. We want the Devourer. Can tear apart equipment items and components to turn them into raw materials. It's also the Grinder. Oh, raw materials into bricks and dust. Actually, I'm going to put it here. Or here? I'm gonna put it here. And unfortunately, I don't actually have any equipment to throw into it, but I love the fact that that's just a thing. Research, research desk. This is what I want to put in. Okay, so what am I gonna research? Paper. And I put it all away. I wonder if I can make paper if I have to research it. Oh, I see. So I just chuck them in. Uh, let's see. So enchanted brew. Research. Anything else? No. Some merciless copper ma mace and a bunch of other things. I wonder if there's a higher tier version of this. Okay, well, one way or another, we got that. First book in the library. Upgrade the castle's heart. Ooh, unlocks blueprint mirrors. Oh, but I need leather. I don't know if that's something I can actually work with. It's salvageable, which means I've got to be able to make it somewhere. Okay, one last foray, and then I think we can properly progress. I was trying to figure out how and where to get leather, and it doesn't seem like it's particularly easy to get. However, we're just south, just south of a trapper camp, so I'm going to go smack and grab as much as I can. It looks pretty huge, and it's about to go nighttime, so it gives me plenty of time to explore. Find things, grab stuff, you know. Let's see. Big dog! Not dog! Oh, that didn't work. Yeah. 
I was going to be... I was going to be schmancy. Didn't work. Right, let's kill the... Kill the archers. Okay. This guy's a brute 9%. I really gotta stop letting them hit me. I wonder if I hit him from behind. There we go. And yeah, let's see if 9%, if I go above 9%. No, I do not. But I get blood, which is good for healing. All right. Let's heal back up and then actually start fighting this place proper. Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have actually made some better armor. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. There you go. Tons of tainted hearts, tons of goodies. So we wanna we wanna smash everything in here if I can. That didn't work. That's okay. Yeah, plenty of animal hide. I was under the assumption that I'd be able to. It's 20 27% creature, though. I think I might want to just see what maximum I can get. Well, did I get 100 leather off of that? No, I did not. I got 100 bone. But yeah, animal hide and bone. I was under the impression that I'd be able to, like, process the leather. You know, make a tanning rack of my own. But it looks like... At the very least, I can't do that yet. Maybe sooner than later. We'll see. I'll just break everything in hopes of finding some more. Fishbone? I don't know. I'll just grab everything. There we go. Alright, I should probably use my shield more often. It does actually give me a damage boost. There we go. What do you got for me? I mean, some leather. I'll take it. Oh, this game could use pound portals. That'd be lovely. Oh, you know, I'd, I've got enough leather. Let's go back. Could fight another bear. What is bear? Blood quality 27. It's good. What level bear? I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Okay, and then this went bad. I mean, if we're lucky... If we're lucky, the bear turns out to be my friend. The answer is, vaguely? Okay, they killed the bear. But that's fine. Alright, you. There we go. Boy, these bosses really like going invisible, don't they? Whoops. Let's not be anywhere for that. I might as well fight every mid-boss that I can. Excuse me. Ow! Took the whole dang... Took the whole dang salvo. Straight to the face. Alright. Ow. That went poorly. I do a seven. Gets me some healing. And she's almost dead. Got her. Hopefully she'll just wait. This guy's only 2%. 
Okay, there we go. That got dicey. We are doing pretty well, and then we were doing pretty not well, and then we're fine. I don't know. I like this game. It's got a lot of neat perks t to it. The, uh, the world bosses are legitimately fun and interesting to fight. And the, the snatch and grab looting, adventuring and whatnot, it's got its moments. I definitely feel like the, uh, the map might be a little bit too much, like, all of these locations are just kind of here for you to loot. And not actually terribly interesting, you know, what's, what's the difference between every bandit camp? And the answer might not actually be much of anything. I guess I should probably have, uh, should have probably fed a little low on blood. Oh well. Let's see, what else do we have? I guess the other thing, oh I see. But if I eat rat to get blood back, I become frail, so I don't really want to do that. I don't know, maybe we feed off bear. Seriously, no more leather here. Well, hopefully once I learn how to actually do some research here. You know, I forgot to actually feed off of the bear. I was too busy hitting it. Uh, but maybe once we we learn how to make leather, this will get a lot easier. Hopefully it's not something that I just have to loot. It seems really odd to have that kind of limitation. I don't actually get blood off of that. Interesting. Oh, this is a skeleton with crossbow. No, nope, that ain't it. Well, there's at least one more spot with potential bear. There we go. Tough bugger. But it's fine. Anything interesting in any of these? Luckily, the camp has, like, no alarm. Which was kind of a concern. You know, enter into one of these places. Come on. Try and hit me. Thank you. Got it. Grab everything. I'm not actually sure. No, we can't sell anything. There we go. Give me some more HP. There are two bears. There we go. And this one's 18%. Let's see if this resets me back down. It does. Okay, so consuming blood is kind of rough. I thought it would be something I'd build up to, but the answer is really just moment to moment. It's going to be kind of hard to get up to, like, animal 100%. I was assuming it would just be you, you, uh, build up to it. You know, only drink creature blood and then it would scale. But the answer is no. Oh, well, how much leather do I have in my inventory? 25. I was hoping for a lot more than that. Well, I'll make do with what I got and hopefully, uh... Hopefully I'll figure out a better source or, you know, figure out how to actually make this stuff myself. That'd be the convenient one. I mean, you just need a tanning rack, right? Who to get off of her? Frost bat. Frost, okay. Oh, seems okay. Oh, did the rocks outside respawn? I think they do. But most importantly, co copper. Oh, no. Okay, good. I was like, please, please don't tell me I have no copper. I'd be very sad. Well, we now can go up to 80 border, servant coffins, and some other stuff. Claim this. What do we have next? Complete a castle room by laying down floors and building surrounding castle walls to generate a roof. Oh. Okay. Refinement universal. Mirrors. Customize your vampire. But I need... Where's my planks? I remember one of these. Not that one. Oh, this is big. I'm very happy to see this. I'm going to need a ton of bricks to pull this off, apparently. Oh, no power. Oh, 
The castle heart is out of juice. That's actually kind of bad. I say is, you know, I have effectively thousands. Uh, so I think we're fine. But I can just replace my walls. So we can we can just go straight to constructing castle bits. Uh, let's see, entrance, win window wall. No, we want to go with this. I want to just update this whole place. I'm sure I'm taking the really inefficient route, but it's fine. Oh, and you know what I said? There was going to be some means for me to get uh, leather. Looks like there's a tannery that we just unlocked. So I can toss in all of this. And we can get just leather. There's also pristine leather, but I need to get pristine hides. Uh, let's go find all that extra leather that I've got sitting around. Maybe not all of it, but a lot of it. There we go. Progress. Just took forever. That solves my leather problems. And I was considering making a second grinder, but I think I just want to leave it running over a long period of time. And that'll just work better. Okay, I think we only need a smidge more. Perfect. Perfect. Nope. Entrance. And now we've got a rooftop. Yes. Okay. So we've built kind of our castle. It's going to take a while to get most of these. This apparently takes forever to burn. So I might... Act, eh, let's just turn it off. I'm not going to need the mist brazier if I actually have, you know, roofs. And there's also servant coffins. But I think I'm going to leave that for later. This, this is starting to reach later territories. Oh. Interesting. Also for clearing some of these out, we get different recipes. So she gave us the... Traveler's Wrap, the Canteen, and the ability to make leather. Oh, got it, got it, got it. She had the Devourer. This one adds Tomb, Nocturne Fences, Skeleton, and Ghoul. Let's see, Whetstone, Workboards, Longboards. Oh, it's the different floors. I like that. So not only do you want to fight the bosses for, uh, you know, for progression and, and powers and abilities... You also want to fight them because uh, that's how you get all the extra recipes that you might not normally have access to. Or, you know, might might not have unlocked yet. Neat. This game has a lot going for it. I've seen a lot of negativity kind of being thrown in its direction. I feel kind of bad. Uh, I feel like a lot of that just boils down to people were fans of Battle Right and are big mad that it got... Okay, I might have to tear up my coffin. But that's okay. But are big, bat, big mad that it never got finished. Which, frankly, I don't know. I guess I can kind of understand that. But on like an individual basis, I don't play a whole lot of survival sandbox games for a reason. And it's because most of them are pretty mediocre. But uh, this one feels really good right from the get-go. Maybe, maybe it will kind of show its... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it won't be uh, quite as big or as interesting as I think it is, but there is a there is a lot of fun to be had just wandering around. Oh, I can see the dang teleporters, at least on this map. Whoops, it saved me some time. Yeah, I was right up here if I just gone south a little bit further. I bet I was even looking at the map and they were marked and somebody's gonna have left a comment on this video. Oh, well, anyway, with all that said, I think V Rising is neat. And I haven't even shown uh, probably one of the bigger selling points of the fact that this game goes up to like 40, 60 player multiplayer. Uh, it It's kind of organized in such a way that I'd almost say you could play this like arc where you actually have competing vampire clans and PvP and all that stuff. But me, I'm a co-op guy. I'm never going to I'm never going to play this game in that manner. Oops. Nope. I want to get rid of the mist. Oh, I want to get rid of the mist brazier, but its inventory is full. There we go. Got it. But I, I'm always going to be all about playing games uh, cooperatively. So if I do play this with somebody, it'll be to play it multiplayer and mess around with that kind of stuff. 
But for now, V Rising is 20 bucks, and I think it's great. And that's pretty much all that needs to be said about it. it it's very clear looking at the map that they might still have more plans because this doesn't seem to be in the game yet. And hopefully they keep expanding it, it, working on it, and kind of improving upon it until it actually becomes something truly special. Because for a initial launch survival sandbox game, it feels complete. Minimal bugs, just a little bit of hitching and some other stuff. And I can see this going pretty far if they keep with it. Uh, the one other thing I hope they do is actually add full offline multiplayer, because currently you can't actually play this offline. It seems to be fine if you're playing it solo, because uh, I think you just host it on your own machine. But, you know, if they ever take the game down and the server's down, boy, that would be kind of sad, because this game's kind of good. But with all of that, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons of them to check out. But with that, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.